Hey my gorgeous fam out there. Welcome to the love readings for the signs for September. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. They are a completely new uh, formula formula, uh, formula this time. Um, so again, hit me up in the comments. Let me know how you like it. Um, essentially, we're using the oracle cards to get a peek at what is coming to you regarding love and romance, what you need to kind of understand and know about them from spirit concerning, you know, messages and guidance. I'm holding the camera, so if it's moving all over the place, sorry about it. Amateur cameraman. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, what's coming to you, what you need to know, and then of course we're going to get our main spirit message about uh, what's coming uh, through the tarot. So I hope you enjoy. This is going to be for all the signs for sun, moon, and rising. Um, you can also watch it as a cross, uh, cross watcher. So if you are seeing or dating, you know, a Scorpio and want to know what's going on, you can, you're more than welcome to watch the Scorpio video and then just apply it to the other person. Um, again, biggest thing, you're taking what resonates. These readings are general. So parts may stick, parts may not resonate. Only take what resonates, leave behind the rest, all right? Uh, with that said, let's get into your reading. Take care, have fun, and enjoy. Hey Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your September love video. Let's get into it. All right, Spirit. What is coming towards Taurus as we finish Virgo season and move into Libra season? Oh, okay, well, did not take long. <laughs> get out of the way there, all right. And Taurus, it looks very good. Here you have the wedding card. Beautiful. I think... Someone else got this card. I want to say it's Capricorn. I want to say it's Capricorn. So, if you are with a Capricorn, if you have strong Capricorn placements, might be worth checking out the Capricorn video. Um, but the marriage card, so... Honestly, could be could be straight up what you see. You could be getting a proposal. You could be thinking of proposing to someone in the next couple weeks. Beautiful energy. Um, for those of you who were that doesn't seem remotely like a possibility at the moment, when I get the, the wedding card, I do see it as a deepening of the commitment. So it could even be something as, you know, someone you've been seeing casually, evolving into a committed relationship, and, you know, or, you know, someone you're seeing and then you make the decision we're going to move in together. It's, it's about that deepening more so than the actual act of, like, getting proposed to and all of that. Um, for some of you, you could even be meeting someone new um, that has the potential. Like, this is what's coming down the road, if that's something that you desire and something you want. Um, biggest thing I see is just a deepening of the connection. I want to say for you guys, of course, I think it actually will lead to proposals, though. Um, I, I really want to say it's Capricorn. And it's funny, we're, we're closing out, you know, an Earth element season, and my two Earth elements got the same card. Um, with you guys, though, it does feel more like an actual proposal, whether it's you proposing to someone or someone proposing to you. It feels more proposal than it did with Capricorn. So there may be a good chunk of you, Taurus, who, you know, don't be surprised if anyone's dropping to one knee anytime soon. That actually feels really nice. All right. Okay. Angels, what clarity do you have or what message do you have about this, this, you know, upcoming proposal, upcoming, you know, deepening of a bond, of a connection? What do you want Taurus to know about it? You know what? I kind of want to take both of these. So we're going to take this one, and we're going to take this one. You lucky ducks, you get two cards. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Success and believe in your dreams. Yes, if you have been waiting and dreaming and hoping that you're, you know, Prince Charming, your your beautiful princess is coming. I'm just going to put those on top of each other. I hope you can see that. You know, you're going to be successful. You're going to find you're going to find, you know, this this happy match, this beautiful pairing. Maybe I'll put them next to each other. How about that? Can we do that. That works. All right. 
but beautiful. I mean, I mean, even taking in those two images together, like it's kind of hilarious. Look how you have these two like golden figures of light, one male, one female. And you know, I will say, don't let the gender fool you. This is a masculine and a feminine. So, you know, gender doesn't really matter. So this could be, you know, a woman and a man, could be two men, two women, doesn't, honestly, it doesn't matter. This is energetic, but I do find it funny that here we are talking about marriage and look, you have a masculine and a feminine right there, sending out the same vibration. I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, and I didn't really see this before. I've gotten this card before, but I've never actually seen this. But this parallel with the infinity and this woman, it's very much like the strength card in tarot. You know, it's just missing, it's just missing a lion, really. So I almost, the fact that I'm seeing that makes me wonder if this truly is something that you have been waiting for and hoping for and working on for a very long time. You know, seeing that imagery, like the strength card, makes me wonder, like, out of just sheer will, you've, you've done, you've made this happen. This has been something that has been important to you, significant to you. You've been, you know, trying to make this happen. And, you know, it finally has. It's finally coming to fruition. Oh, oh my God, yes. Look at what, look what came out. Ten of Wands, look at you, toiling and struggling away and trying to carry this dream up to the top of the pyramid. Look, hilarious. So yes, definitely something you have been working on for a long time. You know what, maybe I'll put these down, because I feel like since you got two, it's going to block everything. So there, you can, you can see those lovelies right there. Yeah, if that's the case, we can move, move you over a little bit. You get a, you get a special display, Taurus. Haha. <laughs> but yes, ten of wands. The struggle is over. Definitely like that. Struggle is over. All gifted. Yes, someone is receiving a gift. Goodness. Good goodness. So, I will say, this all gifted card can mean multiple things. I think straight off the gate, it being called the all gifted, considering what we're seeing here. You know, I really think that's what's happening. You are being gifted. You can kind of see on this card, uh, it's, it, it pictures or it features Pandora with her, you know, infamous box. You know, and if you know that myth, you know she was told to never open this box. This is your gift. Never open it. You know, one day she got too curious to open the box, let out all the evils of the world. And after all these terrible things came out, fear, sadness, depression, there was one thing left all the way at the bottom, and it was hope. It was hope. The reason I bring up that story because of this image, you know, I feel like whatever you've been going through, whatever the waiting process is, or whatever trials you've been going through, that was all the, that was all the darkness coming out of the box. Yet, in amongst all that darkness, there's that little glimmer of light, that little flicker of hope that always kept you pushing. You didn't give up. You kept working. You, know, you kept plowing that field. I know if I, if I keep tending to this land, it's going to eventually again be green and fertile. It's, it's, it feels very much that. Like, yes, you've gone through all this darkness. Oh, <laughs> look. As I talk about that, look what, boom. Three of swords. Can't even. You know, yes, you've gone through all of this pain. You've gone through this struggle. And get these guys off the floor. But there's still hope there. There's still the possibility. There's still that guiding light. And something good has been gleaned or will be gleaned if you haven't seen it yet. Move these over so I have a room for these guys. You know, underneath that, so we've got the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak, pain, possibly betrayal. And then right underneath that, we had the Nine of Wands. That is you, almost like the, like, bruised warrior. You know, you've been battle beaten, tired, but you're still holding firm. You're still holding your ground. You know, you're still def defying whatever pressure or challenge, you know, is opposing you. You're like, no, I know I'm doing what I need to. This is my dream. I'm going to keep working at it. This is going to happen. And then look at that. You have the King of Pentacles. So strong earth energy. Nine of Pentacles, independence, confidence, competence and the Seven of Swords. 
All right. So honestly, this Seven of Swords, I am not worried about. I'm not worried about it at all. Because I think you are really being personified by the King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, very grounded, master of this element, master of these earthly energies, well manifested as well. And the Nine of Pentacles, again, talks to me about how you've done all this work. You know, the woman in this Nine of Pentacles, she knows her value. She also knows everything she sits on, everything she stands on. She built and earned and did herself. She didn't need any help. You know, she didn't need to, you know, whine and throw herself a pity party. She was strong enough and made it happen. And that's that's very much what I'm getting off of this spread. You know, this is this relationship, this commitment, this partnership, whatever, whatever your dream is for your, you know, ideal relationship. It is something very significant to you, and it's something you have put effort in, and you've been working on it. You know, I can see that with both of these nines, and then especially with the nine of wands, you also have the ten. So this, the time of toil and 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 I was gonna say stress. So I don't know, maybe if you were stressed out about it, all of that is coming to an end. Tens are all about completion, endings finally wrapping everything <clears throat> excuse me finally wrapping everything up and moving forward all right absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful and then i didn't talk about it yet but this seven of swords so a lot of times this the seven of swords you can kind of see there's this like little boy trying to get away with all these swords right while the while the you know blacksmith you know is busy or you know distracted so a lot of times this, this card can speak to mischief, trickery, deception, things like that. You know, the reason I say I'm not worried about it is because you're showing up here so strong. So strong that, you know, I feel like this Seven of Swords, this may just be in your head. You know, thinking something shady is happening or thinking, possibly even thinking, you know, you could mess up. This could be, you know, your own inner saboteur trying to deceive you and trick you out of, you know, this happy ending. You know, it could be going many, many ways. But I feel like this is, this, if this is affecting you, this, it's only in your head. Because you've done all the work and you've proven your, your strength and your capability. You know, I even talked about, you know, with the Believe in Your Dreams, seeing the, that symbolism from the Strength card. So I am not worried about that Seven of Swords for you at all, Taurus. I think you are in a beautiful place. You're near the end of whatever struggle or whatever thing you've been working on. Oh, that was a lot. Oh my God, but it was beautiful. All right, we're just gonna go, th we're gonna fly through these one by one, but amazing. So we've got the sun card, most powerful, most positive card in the deck. So you are divinely supported. You know, the sun shining down on you. You are doing just fine. Another nine. Nine of cups. This is emotional contentment. Happiness. Bliss. Having everything you need. Because you've earned it. Oh. I didn't see you. Oh, we're going to talk about that long last. <coughs> you know, this nine of cups is emotional contentment. Nine of pentacles. Independence. Value. Nine of wands. Again, you know, it can be a defiant kind of thing but I think for you it's really it's that strength and that determination you know that ability to stand up and not give in then you've got another king so king of cups you showed up as the king of pentacles obvi you're an earth sign so you could have a water sign in this pairing maybe you you know maybe you're you're interested in a water sign you're dating a water sign that could be being portrayed by this king of cups you also have the Chariot card that came out right on top of that. Chariot is the Cancer card, so could definitely be dealing with a Cancer. Whether this is a romantic relationship or not, this could involve a Cancer somewhere. This is going to be really specific, so I don't think a lot of you are going to latch on to what I'm about to say. There may just be one of you out there. But I think if if there is a cancer, whether and it doesn't feel like a like a romantic relationship, it's not. But if there's a cancer in your life, I feel like there was some some shady something going on between the two of you. 
you know, and I'll be honest, Taurus, I think it was you. I think you were the one being a little shady. And I don't know why. You know, it's not my business to know why. But I feel like something, something happened between you and this Cancer card. You know, and you may have played a dirty game at some point. You might have been a little deceitful. You know, and that's, I don't know why that's coming through. Again, I don't think this is going to be for everyone. You know, but with that being said, you know, the next card out after the Cancer card is the Ten of Swords. So, to me, that's that's an end to this Seven of Swords. And like I said, I'm not too worried about it. So if if that does connect to you, if you're if you're that lucky one person out there, this is over and done with. It's over and done with. Like you did it, it happened. It could be the other way around. They could have done it to you, you know. But whoever the whoever the inflictor was, you know, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end, you know. And I will say if. If, Taurus, it was you, if, if I'm talking about this and you're like, oh, shoot, yeah, that was a thing. So you have the Prince of Swords and the Tower card that came out after that. And the Tower card was hiding. I didn't even see the Tower card. It was still, if you saw it, it was just sitting on the table underneath all the cards I picked up. I didn't even realize it was part of the stack. You know, this to me, this to me is really about, you know, things coming to light. So this Seven of Swords. Because this Prince of Swords is questing for knowledge. He's hungry. He's super active. Like, he's going to figure it out. You know, and I almost want to say that this could be... This could even be the whoever was being deceived, so not the deceiver, but whoever was being deceived, I think is completely aware of it. Whether they were in the moment, I don't know. But at least now, like, if you think... If, if the deceiver is thinking they fully got away with it and no one even knows I played this game... The, the one who is deceived knows. They're fully aware of it. And this tower moment, I think for that, and like I said, I think this is just one person out there. So take this how it resonates. If this means nothing to you, let this part go. But I think this tower is upcoming. Like something is about to happen. And I think it's, it's more just, I think it's just karma. Like it's karma just coming back to be like, hey, you played a dirty game. This other person has moved on. They, they grew from it or whatever happened on their end. But now karma's coming back around and be like, oh, you remember that time you did this? This, this is the, the balancing act. Here's the, here's the payback for that. So Taurus, if that was you, know this is coming. And if it's, if it's the other way around, then know that karma's going to be dealt you know, accordingly. That's all I want to say about that because, I, like I said, I don't think that's going to be for everyone. For most of you, what's happening really lies... Maybe I'll even take the Cancer card out, because I feel like that's also kind of specific. I feel like for most of you, what lies before is really wrapped up in these three babies. The Sun, the Nine of Cups, and the King of Cups. Emotional contentment, satisfaction, victory, all these wonderful energies right here. This is what I want you guys to take in, and this is what awaits you. You know, and I, I almost want to sum up your, your kind of outcome with the Oracle cards again. Believe in your dreams because you will find success. It is waiting for you. I love this. Beautiful reading, Taurus. I mean, especially for those of you, you know, on the road to marriage with someone that you can see yourself being with for the rest of your life. Don't be surprised if you have a dinner date and someone gets down on one knee. That's all I'm saying. Or if you are contemplating doing that yourself, you're on the right road. You've picked, you have picked wisely. <laughs> you are with the person who will give you all of these wonderful things. So super excited, loving it. Um, I'm gonna wrap up your reading there, Taurus. As always, wishing you the best. Thank you again for coming and watching my channel and, and watching this video. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe. Um, and. As always, I love connecting with you guys. If you ever want to share anything with me, feel free. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what's going on, how things resonated. You can DM me or message me on Instagram, at The Guiding Chariot. And as always, if you want to book a private reading, all that info will be in the description box below. Take care, Taurus, and I will see you in your next video. Bye!